Pop. Yo, what's up, Pop? Hey, what's that, I gotta talk to you about something, dude. What's going on? Uh, Jay told me you you tried to whoop the kid. I tried. No, I did. I didn't try nothing. I did. Come on. I yeah. did. What did you come on? You're not supposed to whoop him. You ain't, you ain't supposed to whoop him. Then don't bring him over. If you ain't want to be disciplined, you, if you ain't want to learn respect, if you ain't want to know how to respect the elders, don't bring him over here. I sure did. When I told him to sit down and he rose up at me and told me what he wasn't finna do, that's what I, he said what he wasn't finna do. I said, no, we ain't gonna be two fools in here. Uh, we ain't gonna be two fools in here. You gonna listen or I'm gonna get in that house. You gonna tell me again and his brother joined. He ain't gotta do nothing. That's what he told me. My brother ain't gotta do nothing. I beat him in his brother back. And threw him in the phone. Crying like baby, guess what? They respect me, though. They respect me. Them mm-hmm. kids need whooping. And you need to stop whooping. You treat me kids like this song when they get out in this world. They ain't gonna know what to do. You hear me? They ain't gonna know what to do. These children need whooping. They need this. Quit treating them like they're your friend. That's your problem. No, I, no I'm you, talking. Man. No, listen. Quit treating like your friend. You done got the old pit-tail, pit-tail girl. Okay? And she all with this, I don't want to do none of this, and they can't whip them kids. I'm going to tell you like this. Oh, I see a devil already popping up in here. Ooh. Brother, if you knew what Allah showed me of you, you would go right away and change. Up in that third balcony, the second balcony. Evil nigga. Oh, Yakub ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, believe it, some of you are gonna try me. And I will show you very quick who I am. And you're gonna be surprised. Some of you little crazy Nick bros. Heart so filled with darkness and hate. But if you make the little move that you got in your crazy brain, you won't last. You won't last. And I say this when we get real tight, strong, see a snitch and an enemy that's in here among us, he'll show up. I'm going to say this publicly because I really don't give a damn about the consequences. A dear brother and or sister, if you're on the payroll for the police or the FBI, I don't mind you being there. I really don't mind. Because we're not doing anything that we would be ashamed of. So you can be here. It's okay. And even if we knew you was the police, we would not bother you. However, if you work in an evil way to try and break up something good for our people, then we will kill you. Yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up, class? Welcome and come on in, guys. You're now into the righteous fear. This is the school of common sense, guys. I'm your teacher, Mr. Good Brad. Guys, we do not cater to any groups, gangs, communities, religions, feelings, or emotions. We cater to the truth and we cater to common sense. You have now come here so that you can critically think for yourself, so that you can hear and learn some new things that you might not have learned. So now we're at the time where if you need to hit the lockers and put some of those old stale ideologies up, go do that now, guys. Go put some of those old beliefs up, guys, because we at the school of common sense, guys. And we come here and we know we subscribe to this channel because we want to be more emotional, intelligent. We know that EI beats IQ. It trumps IQ every single day of the week, every single hour of the clock. I right, guys? So I'm... Um, Today, y'all saw that first video, and OG was not, OG was dead on. 
we've lost the sense of discipline. The village don't raise the kids anymore. And see, the village don't raise the kids once the fathers was removed from them homes. The moms removes the fathers from the home so that she can play friendly, friendly with these kids. And you can't raise no kid being friends with a kid. A, can't, a kid can't respect his friend, all right? Kids respect parents. Kids submit to parents. Kid don't submit to peers, all right? And the God order is God, man, woman, and child. God, man submits to God. The woman is supposed to submit to the man, and therefore the child, the child will have no others, no other reason but to submit to the woman. But see, since the woman wanted to play with the order, and you, you un, you, it's like a chain, guys. When you take one link out, the, the rest of the chain is no good. So since the woman want to play with the submitting to the man, these kids ain't fitting to submit to them. These single mothers, guys, they don't teach these kids shit on that plantation, guys. And today we fitting to go over exactly what it is that they do teach these kids. But before we do that, guys, I want to make sure you understand how real discipline is, how real structure and order is, and why most of these modern women don't like God. This is why they don't like the Bible. They don't like religion. They don't like anything. They'll, they'll run with, we all know religion is a business, but they don't like God. They'll use that religion shit. They'll use our religion talking points just because they want to do this. They want to do their own thing. I mean, and one thing about the Bible and one thing about really believing in God, you know, that you got to sacrifice. You don't get to do your own thing because there's laws and there's order and there's structure. You know what I mean? In that Bible. You know what I mean? The basic instructions before leaving earth. The human being handbook, guys. You know what I mean? So let's start out with this one. Hebrews 12, 11. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. But later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. You see what I mean? So we so busy ducking and dodging, ladies, single mothers. Yeah, you so busy ducking and dodging this discipline shit because you don't want the kid to. You want you need to have the kid on your side so you so you can fight the the alienate the dad war. You know what I mean? So you can get your little benefits and your child support. So you gotta you gotta be, make yourself into this victim and you just have the child there to to cater to your delusion, to your fucking delusion. You know what I mean? Let's keep it real. So you don't want to discipline the child because then the child will be on to you. He'll figure you out real fast. He'll figure you out real fast. You know what I mean? So this is what they're doing, guys. We got more. <coughs> Leviticus 1911, guys. You should not. St oh, wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. But yeah, because this is what they teach them, though. They don't teach them discipline. They don't teach them men mental fortitude. They don't teach them anything else. But they teach them how to steal. And they teach them how to be mingy and meisty and how to survive. This is why all of the girls end up becoming prostitutes because their mother don't get to teach them nothing but how to steal. So the woman be like, shit, I don't need to risk my life and steal and get my hand cut off. I just sell some coochie. You know what I mean? It'll keep the lights on. Why I got to steal for? I'm cute. See, so the mothers, they cap. And these be the mothers that's on social media capping and eating crab legs all day, every day, talking about how good of a mother is. These are the ones that get the, that find the weakest simps around Mother's Day and have the big, biggest and flashiest awards, like if they really earned it and they ain't earned shit. Leviticus 19.11, guys. You shall not steal. You shall not deal falsely. You shall not lie to one another. Look, that's easy, guys. This is why nobody likes the Bible. Oh, I don't fuck with that. That shit is a lie. That shit is this. They'll come up with anything out the, under the motherfucking sun to, 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 because it's too hard. And they want to lie. Motherfuckers want to be liars all day. Motherfuckers want to make um, scams. Niggas want to scam. Niggas want to steal. Niggas want to steal. They want to do that in the middle of their, in the back of their heart. They want to be nice people, but they, they can't get rid of this mingy shit. They can't get rid of it. And this is why they'll find any excuse to not follow these basic instructions before leaving Earth. And look, I'm not in no church. I'm right here chilling in my crib, about to roll up. But we at the righteous fair, we move the gray area. We remove gray area. It is what it is. And we know it's right and it's wrong. And we're going to go with what's right all the time. Not sometimes, not when it worked for us. All of the time, bro. You know what I mean? And, th and that's why I grow a little slow. I grow slower than others because 
I don't, I don't got time to play with the gray area and cater to anybody. And no, 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 no. We're going to talk about what I feel and what I know we need to talk about over here. Not just what y'all want me to talk about. Now I mean, guys, Proverbs 10, 2. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit, but righteousness delivers from death. And that's a fact, guys. Everybody that know, if you ever been scamming, if you ever did some old mingy shit, you don't even know what you spent the money on. You don't have what you spent the money on. You don't, that shit no longer exists. Magically, the shit is gone. Now, I mean, me, for instance, when I was back in my beta day, when I was in my beta male days, now, I mean, before I alpha door all the way the fuck up, now, I mean, I used to be robbing and stealing and shit. And every time I did, I lost double. Not only did I lose what the fuck I stole or jacked, I also lose something of mine that I like, that I spent my money on. That just was my karma. That's just how shit worked for me, guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's tons and tons of verses that go on and on and on. Proverbs 29, 15, the rod and reproof gives wisdom, but a child left to himself brings shame to his mother. You know what I mean? To his mother. left Because you're, you're, the mother is supposed to provide the mom, remember again, mother is supposed to provide for her household, which is he's supposed to provide the masculinity, the man. But we got so many single mothers playing this, I'm a mom, dad. You know what I mean? So they're not providing the masculinity needed for the child. Therefore, the child is not getting nothing, no discipline, no nothing, no encouragement, no inspiration, no nothing. Just a whole lot of survival techniques and strategies that's going to wind them up on the back end of karma when it comes to the blessings. This is why it ain't no generational wealth. This is why so many children in the black community is stuck in the generational curse. Guys, tell you no lies, guys. I can't make this shit up, guys. We don't make this shit up. You know what I mean? This is your child and he will give you the rest. He will give bring he will give delight to your heart. No moms, you ain't got a cap and crab leg. You ain't got to be out here fronting and lying. Know what I mean? And then, and then forcing them to, to dig in your cat litter to cover your lies. If you do the right thing, they'll they'll yield you the right results. They'll make you feel good. They wouldn't feel like a burden to you. Know what I mean? These kids make you feel like a burden because of the shit you need to repent for. That's why they feel like a burden. Even though you're capping crab legs about how much you love them down, and you know you go home and you cry. You look at them and cry. Did y'all see that video with a lady? She, I'm not having no more kids. I'm not, because she see how sorry and depressing that room was full of them, all of them goddamn kids hanging off the motherfucking thing. And they looked like she was having them in steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get the fuck out of here. How stupid is you? You know what I mean, guys? Proverbs 23, 13. Do not withhold discipline from a child. If you strike him with a rod, he will not die. But you can't tell these hoes that they got a whole scam going on. They working on a whole scam out this motherfucker. And that's why they getting what they getting. That's why they stuck with what they stuck with. All right, guys, let's get into the first video of today. You know what I mean? Let's see what we got for you guys. Caught on camera, a troubling scene at a Northside seafood store. A mother and her children accused of stealing while an employee turned his back. The owner of JJ's Crab House sent us that video because he says he couldn't believe a mother would encourage her children to do that. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet is outside that store joining us live to explain why this owner and his employees, Eric, could not let this go. Yeah, Joy, both the owner and his employees say this store is no stranger to petty theft. They say it usually happens, but when it does, they don't make a big deal out of it because they say that there is only so much that police can do to actually capture these folks. But they said in this case, they couldn't just let this go by the wayside because they say it involves a mother teaching her children how to be criminals. In this surveillance video, a female in a... And see, constantly, time after time, we sit here and play and act like we don't know what the fuck is the problem is, yo. Now, you got a mother who's supposed to be teaching the next generation how to be honest citizens. But no, she's raising a get over, right? Now, when she go and die off, what does she leave in the land, guys? What does she leave for the land? And this is what a lot of modern women, are, they're not thinking. They're not thinking. They're selfish. They don't think for the village. They don't think for the village. They could give a fuck about the village. And it started back when, remember, 
grandparents used to be the ones that be like, no, let that boy run. Let him run. He going to hurt his knee. Don't worry about it. I got the first aid kit. But the moms, these modern women, they don't. That's motherfucking son. That's motherfucking son. And when they took that approach right there, that's where the village no longer raised these kids. And now all of that task lands up on the mom's lap. You know what I mean? But she act like she got to take on that task because the minute she let that task, let share that task, the money, the money's short. So she, she got it. This is why they clutch on to these kids so hard and they keep them in their custody. Even when they in a fucked up situation, the dad could be a millionaire, right? And they'd rather take him to child support than to give the child to the dad and they get their shit together. They'll cling on to the kid like that's their property, guys. That's how they get their money. They get their money with the kid. That's why I didn't understand. Did y'all see that video me and Miss Goodbread did where the girl talking about women take care of other people's kids? Like when? How? How? Women clutch kids. Women clutch their kids because it's a means to an end. And look at what they do to them, though, because they don't teach them nothing. They don't teach them nothing. A black dress is ordering a seafood meal to go. The store owner says her mother and siblings are the people behind her. Islam Ibram is the store employee behind the counter. Watch what happens when he goes into the kitchen. <laughs> Ibram says the mom and her kids all ransacked the refrigerator on the right of your screen and took multiple bottled drinks that they stuck in bags but they didn't know Ibram was watching their every move on the monitor in the back. He was keyed in on the mother, who he says has been a regular customer. I saw the, the last two drinks she took before I replayed it on camera. Then he says he walked out and confronted the mother. I said, sweetie, how many drinks did you take? She said, I didn't take none. I was like, I just saw you on camera. And I didn't have that heart, you know, to go just snatch out her purse. And it's sad, because he just caught your little black ass on camera, and you're going to lie and eat crab legs. See what I mean? by the cap and crab legs, no accountability, all the way on camera. And now, guys, I don't know how many of you guys are from New York. Y'all know we had this old, this whole incident pass with a, with a simp nigga, he got stabbed, he's got stabbed to death in the store going behind the counter, right? They, they trying to say he did all that because the, the, the man snatched the bag of chips out the little girl. Hey, you goddamn right, you come in my store, if I had a store and, 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 yes, and you swiped the card and the shit didn't work, and you, you kept it, you kept the chips in your hand, and you know what happened when I tell you the shit don't work, and you're keeping the shit in your. I'm snatching my shit out too, cause these mothers teach their kids how to steal. They teach their kids how to steal, so I don't give a fuck. I would have snatched that shit out their hands too. All right, now you guys be careful, cause I did learn something this past week. I didn't know if you snatch your girl phone out her hand, that's assault. You know what I mean? But if you're a store owner. And the little motherfucker come in there, little mingy motherfucker come in there with a little dead EBT card or link card or whatever the fuck card y'all want to call it. They come in there and the shit dead. And you politely tell them, oh, it's no more money on this joint, sweetie. You know what I mean? And, 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 and they, they continuously go move towards the, the door with your products in their hand. I'm get the fuck from behind there and snatch the shit. Fuck is going on. I'm I'm snatching the shit. I snatch they bond that off. So I don't give a fuck. I'm snatching shit. First, it's kind of disrespectful. You know, she's a lady. Then the security camera captured something she said that raised red flags. She just told Hold on, I'm gonna play that back real quick because he said something that was key. You see how these women play on that victim, right? Because they're a woman. You're a whole thief, though. You're a thief. Your behavior is a thief. Now let's remove the gender. You're a thief. A thief is a thief. But you want to be able to be a thief and then get the victim card because you're a woman. All right, you're a woman thief, but I'm still going to ask you, give me my shit, B, because I saw you take it. Just because you're a woman, if it, and this is the sad shit. Dirty say it all of the time, guys. Make sure y'all check out the daycare. Niggas let women slide for shit. We will not let men slide for, boy. Why? Simp shit. This is the simp shit. She just stole from you, bro. You saw her still. You sitting there talking about you, what you ain't finna ask her because she a woman. Play that back, guys. Then the security camera captured something she said that raised red flags. She just told Ibram she previously stole from the store. She told me the last time I stole from you guys, none of you guys caught me. But this isn't what really angered Ibram and the store manager. The problem was she's teaching her kids how to steal. I mean, I found that very, very disrespectful and on top of that, very wrong.
And now Ibram worries about the future of the kids who he says were stealing with their mom. There's a saying in my language in Kurdish, we say, whatever you plant, that's what's going to grow. You cannot plant an orange and expect the apple to come out of it. So if she's planting this in her kids' heads, it's going to be really, really, you know, bad. Once and that's exactly what I told you guys. Exactly what I told you guys. If you're going to take on the, 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 this, the mom, dad title, then you got to raise these kids up. You got to discipline these kids up. You can't be friends with them. You know what I mean? They're not going to respect the friend. And that's exactly what I said. Now she's going to send out these thieves for the next generation to be stealing from our kids. That we raised how we raised. Now our kids going to get out there, run into this thief, and now I have to make an adjustment from our teachings in order to survive. This is why I say, guys, the most important thing you could do for your child is get them out of that environment, bro. Because you could raise a Jesus Christ all you want. I tell y'all that time after time. Once you let Jesus Christ outside of them sandals, bro, Jesus is going to make the adjustments that's needed. You know what I mean? As they grow up. Now, both Ibram and the owner of this store say that the mom and her children are no longer welcomed in this establishment. Uh, they say that there are some things Hold that, on. I again, play that, that back, they though, can because... put up with, but they say seeing this and knowing how it played out, they cannot put up uh, with watch side because they say it involves a mother teaching her children how to be criminals. So now I played this back because I wanted y'all to really hear the part where he was scared to approach this woman because she was a woman. I and, she, and he's seen her violate him. In the surveillance video, a female in a black dress is ordering a seafood meal to go. The store owner says her mother and siblings are the people behind her. Islam Ibram is the store employee behind the counter. Watch what happens when he goes into the kitchen. Ibram says the mom and her kids all ransacked the refrigerator on the right of your screen and took multiple bottled drinks that they stuck in bags but they didn't know Ibram was watching their every move on the monitor in the back. He was keyed in on the mother, who he says has been a regular customer. I saw the, the last two drinks she took before I replayed it on camera. Then he says he walked out and confronted the mother. I said, sweetie, how many drinks did you take? She said, I didn't take none. I was like, I just saw you on camera. And I didn't have that heart, you know, to go just snatch out her purse. It's kind of disrespectful. You know, she's a little... Now you heard him, guys. I didn't have the heart to kind of snatch it out of purse. It's kind of be disrespectful. Ain't nothing disrespectful about getting your shit back, bro. When you've been wrong, bro. Know what I mean? Ain't nothing disrespectful about you getting your shit back, bro. They teach these people how to steal, yo. It's sad, yo. They teach them how to steal and play the victim, yo. What the fuck is this world coming to, guys? You can't make this shit up. And there's more, guys. There's more. Of course, I wouldn't just give y'all give y'all some bullshit like that and not have the the majority, because it's the majority that's doing this. I can understand if it was one or two or three or four or five, but when I could give you a thousand motherfucking videos of chicks, modern women, modern black women being mingy, that's a problem. That's a problem. We have that. And they're in our community, guys. They're in our community. St stealing affects everybody, guys. Stealing affects everybody. The, pri the prices go up on all of us because the store's now losing products, so they got to raise the price. So stealing affects everybody, bro. Stealing affects everybody. All right, guys, let's check out. Let's look at this one. Here we have another mother. Here we have another mom's teaching her kid how to steal. Just watch this one. Watch this slick shit. And you can tell she's been doing this for a while, sending them in Dwayne Reed and shit. Just watch this slick shit, guys. Damn shame, yo, look at that shit. A damn shame. And then she pushed the little girl up to do it. Cut it, the fucking lady turn around, might beat her whole ass down, yo. You know what I mean? This is a sad shame. This, let's look at that again. This is a damn shame, yo. Mother queen, the biggest mouth, the biggest mouth. A jump all in your comment section. Talk about man, 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 man.
Look at this black, ugly ass bitch. She's sitting there, and, and that's why she do it. That's why the fuck they do it. So now she gonna act like she don't see the kid going. So now if the, if the girl turn around, she can go play and yell at the girl like if the girl just, like she ain't teach the girl how to do the shit. She just yell at her like, oh, I, I ain't teach her how to do that. Lying. Crab leg. Look at this shit here. I wish the, I wish the hell I would, dude. I wish the hell I would, dude. This is, oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, man. See, keep your veins cold, guys. My veins cold, bro. My veins cold. We yeah, shot shit out of kids, all that. Like, if you don't raise them right, I'll re- I'll help you. I will help you. Look at this mingy shit here, yo. Would you see this shit? And look at the other two little ones. The little ones, they learning. They learn. Look, look, little man. He look back. Look at the little man. Look back, though. You see the little man on the look back? Look at the little man on the look back. He holding, he holding it down for the fan. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be there next. I'm gonna be there next. Grooming him. Grooming him. Grooming him. Grooming him. And she look pregnant. She look like breeders. Breeders. All they, only thing they can do is teach you how to steal and lay on your back and become a prostitute or a drug dealer or, or work for the or work for who they work for. Work for who they work for. Sad shit, guys. Sad shit. And last but not least, I don't know why they keep taking this fucking particular video down, but you know I, I see Worldstar got a problem now. They 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 take videos down and shit. They taking videos down and now I mean why are they taking videos down? Why did they take this video down, y'all? Let's find out why they take this video down. A lot of y'all not gonna get this video, but I got it. I got it. Disrespectful, and this is where the kids learn it from. They learn it from their hell of a mother. Cause one thing, one thing about it, a dad, a, a, a absent dad does least, has least effect on the development of a kid than a single mom's by herself. A single mom's by herself is automatic toxic. Yes, I'm not saying it's cool. The kid need a balance. But if the dad is not in the picture, the woman has to take the accountability. The woman is getting blamed. Yes. So y'all, y'all go above and beyond to alienate these fathers. And then y'all want to sit there and blame the fathers for y'all fuck up. Y'all have the property. Y'all have the ball. The ball is in y'all court. Y'all did everything to put the ball in y'all court. And y'all not re- y'all fucking the bag up. Y'all ain't making no shots with the ball in your court. So don't talk about how you playing basketball by yourself when you chose to put the ball in your court. Statistics show you chose the check over a father for your child. And this is what you do. Look at this disrespectful shit here, guys. Let's check this out. Already. Look at him. And they see this. You heard him? You see, he sound just like his hell of a mother or one of his simp stud, uh, one of his simp ass fathers, father figures. Sound just like a hell of a son, already in training. This little boy ain't have a chance in the world already. Already disrespect the police. And 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 and, and then you gonna tell me when he get older if he continue in the custody of the, whoever he's in custody with? When he get older, he just gonna magically like police, magically like male authority fuck out of here b save the cat stop the cat shut the fuck up that's sad yo because we raising kids that's going to be around those kids is your kid ready to put that kid down is your kid ready to put that kid in his place yo? or are you ready to to put that kid in his place and deal with the mother you, get, you gotta ask yourself these questions, especially when you start defending this bad behavior because you display some of it. Hint, hint, wink, wink. You know what I mean? Everybody get triggered and trickled and, and mad at, at us truth tellers for calling out the bullshit, the shit we clearly see. 
Are you prepared to run down on a little person for slapping your little man because he was raised in a on a single mother plantation? So I don't give a fuck now. We know there's a difference. There's a difference between a single mother and a hell of a mother. But just because you're a single mother don't mean you, you have the right to defend hell of a mothers and they bad behavior. Unless you get mad because you display some of the traits. That's your business. You can fix that. All right, guys, but it's been real. I got to go. You know what I mean? Salute to everybody in the chat. Salute to everybody that watched these videos. Don't play with your life. Strap up, wrap up, drink responsibly. We do it for the culture. Two videos is about to pop up right now. Click into those videos right now to continue your viewing experience over here at the School of Common Sense, guys. And remember, yo, I'm not your competition, yo. I'm not your friend. I'm your brother, bro. I already won. Niggas hate on us. You, you hate on a nigga. I don't wow. understand why you hate on me, nigga. We don't understand. Show love, nigga. It don't uh, show nothing. It don't cost nothing to show a nigga love, nigga. I was doing nigga. this getting money. Show a nigga some love, nigga. Wabbledy dabbledy. Niggas out here don't love me, nigga. They don't love. Only two things that get you through this, man. That's patience and persistence. My life is telling me for me. Don't let anybody speed up my process. I don't care what's happening out there. That's 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 the great thing about, you know, having ultimate confidence in yourself is it doesn't matter what's happening. I don't care what's happening. I don't care what you, you're on or this person's on. This is what I... And, you know, I thought I was ready in 97. Right. And I didn't have a major record company marketing to promote my project until 2003 right. you know so for that time period I had to be run on my own energy you know I had to convince myself that uh, I'm gonna make it you know regardless of how people felt at the at that time and but what it does is it, make, it makes you feel like well it made me feel like um, there's gonna be points that people are gonna mistake my confidence for arrogance because I've had to they don't understand the process I went through